Hello, this is Justin from the DataMail project. In this screencast, we're going to learn how to add a DataMail subscription form to your website. Um, in this case, uh, we're going to add this to a WordPress website. Um, so let's get to it. I'm uh, in the list control panel of a DataMail mailing list. And on the top bar menu here, I'm going to go to Appearance, Subscription Form HTML. Now there's a couple of different choices we have. Um, to make things as simple as possible, I'm going to use the first tab under minimal subscription form right here. And all I have to do is copy what's in this text box. And that's easy enough because there's a big button to do so. So I'm just going to click the button. Things are copied. Now I'm going to go to the dashboard of my WordPress site. I'm going to go to appearance and widgets. Okay, and I'm going to put this in a sidebar widget. So um, the first thing I have to do is create a new widget. And I just have to select under uh, available widgets. I'm going to make a new text widget for my sidebar and click add. And it's going to ask for a title. And you can call this anything you want. I'm going to call it email sign up. And for the content, I'm just going to paste in that subscription form that DataMail created for me, just like that. And uh, I'm going to save that. And uh, guess what? We're done. So we can add this uh, text box widget to my site. I believe it's already there. Let's put it right on top just so we can see it. And we are done. So if I go to my WordPress site, you'll see that my email sign-up form is right there. And that's all there is to it to uh, um, set up an email sign-up form for your WordPress website. Okay, so we uh, just went over how to add a mailing list, a data mail mailing list subscription form to our WordPress site in its sidebar using a text widget. Um, we're going to go to the next step and add a modal menu subscription form. Now, a modal menu subscription form is a little different than the minimal subscription form. With the minimal subscription form, when you click submit, um, you'll get refreshed to a, a new page um, created by data mail. Um, telling you that the request is successful and look for an email confirmation. Um, with the modal menu, um, instead of refreshing to that page, out pops a little menu, or I'm sorry, a little window that, that is inside your current page saying all that information. And uh, the user doesn't um, kind of leave your website. They can just uh, get on with what they're reading, things like that. So here we go. Um, just like before, um, instead of clicking minimum subscription form, we're going to go all the way down to modal menu. And if you look, there's two different kind of text boxes with stuff in it. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to check out the stuff that's, that's under place the following in the body of your page. And we're going to copy it. We're going to go back to our WordPress site. And I'm in Appearance, Widgets. And again, under Available Widgets, I'm going to create a new one called Text. In my sidebar, add that. And we're going to call this one Email Sign Up uh, Modal. Just, uh, just so we know it's uh, different than the other one, and I'm going to paste that content. Okay, save. So this is a perfectly, oops, let me spell that correctly. So this is a perfectly workable um, subscription form for DataMail, but if we want that modal menu, uh, that window to pop up, we got to go back to DataMail, and under where it says place the following in the head of your page, copy all that. Now, I should, um, I could put this in the head of my page, but I'd have to like kind of, edit the theme uh, templates of my WordPress site, and that's a little far in a way of what I want to do right now. So we're going to do the next best thing. We're going to put all that code in the, uh, the widget itself. So look for the ending of where you just placed all that code, the HTML, find the end, and uh, put paste um, this next kind of blob of text below that. Okay. And you're basically done. Um, because we're using WordPress, WordPress also uses jQuery. Now this modal menu depends on jQuery as well. And one of the things we just pasted was a call to jQuery. Now we should probably remove that um, just because it'll make our website load faster, but it can also kind of um, get in the way of the jQuery that's already loaded. So if you look, just look for um, the call for jQuery. And it looks like this, script source, and then URL to jQuery-2.1.4.min.js. That's the line. Just remove it. Save that. Close. And you're all set. So again, I'm going to take the text box, the widget we just made, put it right on top. And uh, 
let's check out my website. So let's refresh the page, and there it is. That's our new email sign-up modal menu. So if I add it, an address to it, click subscribe, the modal menu will pop up. I'm still on the same page. It says request was successful, check my email, I can, and we're all set. And if I just click anywhere outside of that modal menu, I'm back to my, uh, back to my WordPress site, which is awesome. Um, now we're going to do some minor formatting of our little widget here and make it a little nicer. So some, some of the things I want to do is uh, I, I really don't need this label. This is email address. And I'd like the, um, the text box itself to take the entire room. And I kind of want to do the same with the subscribe button. Now what's cool is I'm using a WordPress theme that's built on Foundation. And Foundation has all sorts of cool little... Uh, shortcuts to make uh, layout of HTML really easy. Now, DotML also uses foundation, which which means that it's all my work is almost done in uh, uh, editing something. So I'm going to go to the widgets. I'm going to open up that email sign up modal again. I'm just going to copy all this and make a new form. I'm sorry, make a new uh, text uh, document. I'm just going to use this as kind of like a, a scratch page. So the first thing I want to do is just take out that um, that label. So if I look, find the label, here it is. There's the label itself, and then there's a div that's kind of inside. I'm going to take the div and what's inside out. There goes the label. And there's another div, and I'm going to change large 8 to large 12. And actually, let's make that small 12. If you know what a, a foundation works, you should be familiar with what I'm doing. If not, learn foundation because it's awesome. Okay, so now I have a, a row, one row, I'm sorry, one column and a row, and this will take the entire width of whatever I put, put it in, the container, in this, in this case, the sidebar. And I'm going to do the same for my subscribe button. So there's that first column, remove that. I'll change large 8 and medium 8 to small 12, and I'm done. So I'm going to copy that a bit, go back to WordPress, and paste it in, save, okay. Go back to my site and check out my handiwork. Awesome. So instead of having a label, I removed the label um, and made that text box take the entire width of my sidebar, and I did the same for the button. So that's how you. That's one way you can edit the uh, the subscription form to tailor it to your taste, to your needs, your layout, things like that. Um, it's only HTML, so you can just go wild and do it any way you'd like. That's it. That's how you um, add a subscription form from DataMail to your site like WordPress.